It's time to rise and shine. It's time to be about that business. It's time to understand that if you want to get something out of your life, you got to be willing to work for it. I'm talking to the one that wants to go beyond the limit. I'm talking to the one that is willing to work a little bit harder than the next man or the next woman. I'm talking to the one that's been through hell. I'm talking to the one that really wants to take it to that level that no one has ever been. When you step into that room, when you step into that environment, you got to be hungry enough to eat what is coming your way. You cannot be concerned about what can't be done. You need to be focused on what must be done. If you feel that you are not in a position to do it, then why show up in the first place? You got to understand that it takes grit, passion, and determination to get to the level of where you want to be. But you got to understand the difference between levels and going beyond them. You can't stay in one place and expect to get to the next place. You can't look at the sky because beyond the sky, there's a great big universe. Now what are you going to do about it? Are you prepared to push? Are you prepared to work? Are you prepared to dig? You got to fight. You got to push. You got to give everything you have. Because I tell you this. Weakness won't save you. All you need is the power, the strength, and the tenacity to give it everything you got. Have the love for your grit. Have the love with every rep that you push out and understand it is up to you to get the most of everything that you work so hard for. Now you got to also understand this. It ain't gonna be easy. It's not gonna be a walk in the park. There's always more to give. You got to be willing to sacrifice. You got to be willing to hurt. You got to be willing to yell out whatever it takes Keep pushing forward. Don't you give up on your life. Don't you give up on those reps. Don't you give up on giving it what it takes to get the most of yourself. If you believe in the possibilities, then make it work for you. If you believe that that weight is too heavy, then you won't push it. If you believe that when you're running that mile and you want to give up, you better find another way and push harder than you've ever pushed. Don't get tired. Don't get weak. Find a way. Make a way. Push your body. Push your mind. Push your soul and give it everything you got because someone else out there may want it a little better than you do now if you say what you are then be what you need to be if you want to get something out of life then fight for your life when you're in that gym Find a way to go beyond that limit. Find a way to push your body. It is your body. It is yours. You own it. It belongs to you. The time that you have in this world, you only got a short time. Make the time count. Make the moment count. Give it something. Feed that body. Build that body. Build that mind. Build that soul. And go to work. Because this is the hour, this is the time, this is the now, and I want to see you working. I want you to dig, I want you to feel it, I want you to struggle, I want you to hurt, I want you to bleed, I want you to fight, because this is that time. Show the world, and show up, and show up, and most
most importantly, do your job and do that business. Remember the time when you wanted more. Remember the time when there were people in your life that did not believe in you. Remember the time when you honestly gave up on the possibilities of the uniqueness that you had inside. Remember there was a time that you complained so much, but yet did so little. There comes to a point in your life that you must recognize that there's a little bit more that has to be done than just complaining about it. You have to realize that you don't have any other opportunities waiting for you if you're not willing to work for the first opportunity that's been given to you. You don't have a lot of time left. So there's no reason to complain. You're not even in the position to complain. You have to figure out that there has to be another idea about you. And you have to understand that there has to be something even greater and more challenging waiting for you. And if you're not willing to step outside of your comfort zone, if you're not willing to understand the principles and the possibilities that you have within yourself, then everything that you are thriving for, everything that you are hungry for, will soon come to an end. Now I'm not here to preach to you about this. I'm here to let you know that there are things that are going on around you right now that are far greater than your complaining. You complaining about so much, but yet you show no action. If you could trade places with someone right now and the person that you are trading places with may have it just a little bit tougher then you have it going on in your life right now. So many people are suffering from so many things in this world at this moment. But yet you're complaining. So many people in this world right now wish they could trade places with you. But yet you're still complaining. You don't have that right to just give up. You don't have that right to just throw in the towel and say that it's over for you. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to understand that the reason that you are existing in this world right now is because you have things that must be done and only certain people are qualified to take it to the level that it needs to be taken to. For there should never be a limitation to wherever it is that you are seeking and how far you are willing to travel and how far you are willing to go. Sometimes people tend to get a little lazy. Sometimes people like to put themselves in this little bitty box and just say that they are okay with where they are. There can never just be an okay to anything when it comes to that life. There should never just be a complacent mindset. How do we evolve? How do you evolve? How do you grow? One thing about success, there are gonna be many struggles. There are gonna be many challenges. And there are gonna be a lot of things that you may not even understand. But you got to go back to where it started. Remember when you wanted more. Because you cannot satisfy your hunger with negative energy. Being negative doesn't help you to grow. Being doubtful doesn't give you the power that you need. You have
have to come to a point in your life that you must realize that there are things that are going on that is testing you. And maybe you may be in a position where you feel that you are broken or you're feeling that you're gonna be broken. But I'm here to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, that you are built to last. I'm here to let you know that you don't have the right to complain anymore. I'm here to let you know that you got to keep on living and living on strong. I dare you to take a trip to your local hospital. And if you have an opportunity to walk down those corridors and witness so many different people, different age groups, different ethnicities, and each one of these individuals are fighting something, they're dealing with some type of sickness. And some of these sicknesses, they may not be able to recover from. I dare you to walk down a neighborhood where there are many people that are homeless and have no place to go, no food to eat, barely even have clothes on their backs. I dare you to realize that maybe you just don't have it so bad after all. Maybe it's time for you to realize and recognize that your troubles are not that bad. Maybe it's time that you realize that you need to get away from the drama that's in your life. Maybe it's time for you to stop chasing misery and start chasing your dreams. Reconnect with yourself. Because this is not the time for you to be wasting putting yourself back instead of pushing yourself forward. Ladies and gentlemen, you have so much, so much to offer, so much to give, so much to do, but doing it and sitting around waiting for it to happen it's just gonna stay in neutral. You have to electrify the desire that you have, that you once had. So the next time you feel like complaining, you feel like worrying, and you're so concerned about other things that doesn't necessarily concern you, ask yourself, is it making you better? Is it taking you higher? Are you going further? Or are you just being complacent? Complacent and complaining and worrying and doing things that are not better for you. Are you gonna realize that maybe just going up that mountain does take a little bit more work than just having something handed to you? Are you gonna be that person that realize that if and when you get to the top of the mountain, it don't just stop there. You got to figure out another way to go even higher. You have to electrify and get all the things that are necessary within you to start doing the things that you need to do so when the time comes, you can kick down that door and move towards the possibilities of being the best of who you really are. Don't lose yourself and the things that's not going to give you the strength and the capacity of understanding that you matter for something. Don't lose yourself in fear. Don't lose yourself in doubt. Dare yourself to be better. Dare yourself to be unique. Dare yourself to be the best possibility that the world has yet to see. Life 
how beautiful it is. How amazing it is to be able to rise up in the morning and have that sun shine on your face rather than on your grave. What makes life so unique and so beautiful? It is beautiful because whatever you have that you may be facing, what you may be dealing with, life is still good. Life has so many moving parts, but life is always good. Every day is a new day and another opportunity that others may not have. This life that you have been given, this life that you are temporarily holding on to, this life that has been just given to you for only temporary reasons, has more meaning than you can ever imagine. So many people in the world take life for granted instead of realizing that you have to take the opportunity to live it the best way you know how. Now on this journey of life, you're gonna face a significant amount of circumstances, a significant amount of challenges. You're gonna fall into areas that you cannot understand. And maybe it's not in a position for you to understand at that moment. When you start to feel that you are in a position that you don't love your life, then shame on you because your life is a beautiful thing and no one deserves to ruin it no one deserves to control it no one deserves to steal your joy your life is your life and you have the right to live it the best way you can you must discipline yourself and take full control and responsibility for the outcome or whatever it is that you are seeking at this moment. The time has come. Has come. Has come. The moment of truth is here. The question is, are you ready? Are you prepared? Do you have the strength? Everybody wants to win, but they don't understand what it means to sacrifice to win it all. Everybody wants to be a champion, but are you prepared to work hard enough to become the champion that you believe you can be? Do you think you have the mindset now? Do you understand what it means to get into what they call Beast mode. <laughs> but I'm here to let you know right now, ladies and gentlemen, it ain't about being beast mode. It's about life and death mode. It's about putting it on the line. It's about pushing yourself and giving it 110% of everything you got. There is nothing that you can do once you're here except finish what you start. When the weakness starts to talk to you and whisper sweet nothings in your ear, you got to recognize that that conversation doesn't help you. That conversation that you're having with weakness is not gonna build you. It's not gonna push you. It's not gonna lift you. You got to recognize that there's work that must be done. You got to be responsible. You got to be capable. You got to be willing to work for what you want. I know sometimes people like to talk to talk. I know some people like to pretend to be something they're not. I know sometimes people say they're a lion, but you can't be a lion if you don't understand the rules of the jungle. So ladies and gentlemen, you got to recognize 
what it means to sacrifice, what it means to be powerful, what it means to be strong. This is your moment to shine. And if you're not willing to shine, then step aside. If you're not willing to work, then this is not the place for you. You got to toughen up. You got to look up. You got to build up. If you want it, this is the time to go get it. But you got to work for it. You got to believe in it. You got to trust in it. You got to let the power flow through the veins. The blood is real. The blood will push you. The pump that you're getting in this place right now is going to take you up and over the top. But if you're not hungry, if you're not willing to get it, then you're going to starve. You're going to starve because you're not hungry. You're going to starve because you're not willing. You're going to starve because you don't want it. Only the hungry knows how to eat. Only the hungry knows how to fight. You don't have time to step back. You got to go forward. You got to push harder. You got to dig a little bit deeper. Some people, all they do is talk. When you're in this place of business, there is no talking. The only conversation is moving what's in front of you. The only conversation is pushing when you feel you can't push. The only conversation is you against you. The rest doesn't matter. The excuses doesn't matter. The weakness doesn't count. Excuses, get out of my way. That's what this is about. So you got to recognize when it gets tough, you better get tough. Easy does not count. Easy does not work. You can't cheat your way up. You got to push your way up. Not everyone is ready to be at the top. Not everyone is suitable to be at the top. If you're having a mental breakdown, then the body will believe everything that the mind is telling it to do. You got to understand, the mind is a terrible thing to waste. And if the mind ain't right, then the body won't be right. You have to understand that you have to have a connection. The connection of righteousness. The connection of fighting. The connection of faithfulness in you and your abilities and your strength and your honor and your integrity. Everything that you do on this moment counts in this place. You can't wait for someone else to push you through it. You got to push yourself. You are born and you are born to live and fight. So on this day and for the rest of your life, if you're working, work a little bit harder. You can't do easy. There is no easy in success. There is no easy in pushing that weight. There is no easy in running that extra mile. If it's easy, why are you doing it? If it's easy, how are you growing? If it's easy, how are you gonna be your best? Suffer now and get the rewards later. Don't ask for it, take it, it's yours. Go get it. If you believe in the possibilities, then make it work for you. Now you got to also understand this. It ain't gonna be easy. It's not gonna be a walk in the park. There's always more to give. You got to be willing to sacrifice. You got to be willing to hurt. You got to be willing to yell out. Whatever it takes, keep pushing forward. Don't you give up on your life. Don't you give up on those reps. Don't you give up on giving it what it takes to get the most of yourself. Some of you right now may be wondering, why is this guy yelling? I'm not yelling, I'm making noise. I'm making noise to scare away your excuses. I'm sounding off because maybe that weakness doesn't understand the power that you possess. I know for myself, if I got to shout it out, I'm gonna shout it out. I'm not gonna let things hold me down. I'm not gonna let people tell me I don't count. I'm not gonna let this place of business tell me I have no business. Yes, the voice, the power, the passion, the love, everything that I have inside, I 
give it to you. I give it to the listener. I give it to the weightlifter. I give it to the marathon runner. I give it to the swimmer. I give it to the Zumba dancer. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from. When the time comes, you must recognize that you got to be better. You got to be tougher. You got to be stronger because nothing that did not create you cannot break you. Be the best of yourself. Be the strongest of the strongest. Don't let anything or anyone hold you back because you have it. It's all in you. Possess it. Love it. Live it. Give it all you got. And from the bottom of my heart, be productive. Stay strong in it. No excuses. And conduct your business. The stage is set, and it's time to rock and roll. You are walking into an arena, and you must be ready to work. There could be no weakness. There could be no excuses. The application and how you apply it will determine the outcome of your success. It is time to take control of your now. To be able to get back in the driver's seat. To understand that you must be tougher than your life. But what is life? What does life mean to you? Do you feel that life is holding you back? Are you blaming your life for the difficulties that you face day in and day out? Why does life have to be so difficult? Why must we struggle so much? What good is life if every day there's so much pain? So what are you made of? What are you prepared to do? Are you holding on to something that won't help you to push the extra mile? That won't help you to push that extra rep that you need? Will you finish what you start? Or will you make excuses? What is it gonna take? for you to wake up and realize that in this place, there is no easy. Easy is not the way to go. You can't get strong being easy. You can't get faster being easy. You can't be the best makeup of yourself being easy. Easy won't pay your bills. You can't cast that check being easy. Hard work, determination is the key when you in this place of business. How much of yourself do you have left? Is life really that bad? Do you really think it's that tough? Life cannot apologize. Life will continue to go on. You just happen to be a part of it. But you only got so much time. There's only so much time left for you. So you can't waste it. You can't put it aside. You can't concern yourself about things that you have no control over. When it starts to get tough, you must get a little bit tougher. You must understand that you are not the only one in this world that's got a story to tell. Because the thing about life, it will always go on. 
and will always serve its purpose. Stop drowning and learn how to swim. You may have a great distance to get to shore. The water may be a little rough. The tide can be coming in. But you got to keep on fighting. You got to keep on swimming. You may go under a few times, but take a deep breath. Let it out, but you keep on swimming. You're not out of the fight. You continue to move on. There's gonna be a lot of things swimming beneath your feet. There's gonna be a lot of things that's gonna try to drag you down. There are going to be people out there in the world right now that don't understand the significance and what it takes to put in work. You can't just play around and pretend that you're something that you're not. Because in this place of business, the title is Show Up. Show up and ready to work. Show up and ready to dig. Show up and ready to push. Show up and ready to run hard. You did not come here to hold yourself back. Are you that individual that woke up this morning and didn't know if you wanted to show up today? You walked through the door and then you decided you wasn't ready? You walked through the door and you said you wasn't ready because you wasn't ready to accept the fact that this is not going to be an easy day? Welcome to the jungle. In the jungle, there are rules. And the rule is, survive. Survive the challenges. Know the difference between obstacles and opportunities. Opportunities always come. They will forever show up. But do you have the ability to overcome the obstacles that are standing in your way? Do you have the strength capacity to push through it? Are you powerful enough to persevere without fear? Without doubt, no excuses. When weakness shows up, you must let weakness know to step aside because these reps that you still have left, you are responsible for them, not weakness, not your best friend. This is your time to shine. This is your time to push. This is your time to get the work done. This place that you decided to show up, you better be ready to show out. Get tight, get right, or get gone. Make this day count. Make every breath that you take count. Be productive. Be strong, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. Enough with the convenient mindset. Enough with the easy mindset. Enough with the excuses. Enough with the easier path. Why does everything have to be so convenient? Why do you feel you have to go through the drive through rather than get out of your vehicle and go right into the building where you want to purchase your items? Why does everything have to be right here, right now? This is our society. This is the mindset that many people have. Now it's true. There are things that certain people cannot do due to certain limitations that they may have. But there are also people out there that have a limited mindset and they choose to make everything convenient. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you probably don't want to hear this, but I'm going to tell you what it is. 
Convenience, in most cases, is a sense of laziness. Convenience is a mindset of laziness. Convenience is just a fancy word for lazy. And why is that? Why do you feel that everything has to be easy? You refuse to work a little bit harder. You refuse to push yourself a little bit more because you want it to be convenient. Well, I can't do this and I can't go that way and I don't feel like doing it this and I don't feel like going that way and I don't want to go over there because it's too far. How far are you willing to go? How much work are you willing to put in to get what it is that you are seeking in your life. Convenience? Why? Because our society has gotten this way. Everything is a touch of a button. Everything that we see and do is easy now. And you're afraid to challenge yourself. You're afraid to get outside of yourself. You're afraid to get uncomfortable. You're afraid to hear the truth because the truth hurts. Nobody wants to hear it. You get sensitive when you hear the truth. You don't realize that maybe, just maybe, you need to have your attitude put in a better position to understand that there's a little bit more to you than what you can imagine. But you choose the easy way. You like convenience. Everything you see Look around you, look at the people you come in contact with. Why do you feel you have to be like them? Why can't you be a little bit more unique? Why can't you step outside of the box? Why can't you be a little bit more unconventional? Be a little bit more elusive, but yet you choose convenience. Everything you see these days, it's all about convenience. The vehicles that you see today, They drive by themselves. Oh, wow, that's a nice car. It drives by itself. I'm going to get that vehicle if I can afford it. I'm going to get that because it drives by itself because I'm too tired. I'm too lazy to drive my own vehicle. This is the world that we're living in today, ladies and gentlemen. We have to make a change. We have to make a difference. We have to evolve. When you look at things today, look really hard. Look at it and see it for what it is. Just because we live in the society that we live in doesn't mean we got to be a part of everything that goes on in it. Sometimes you just got to be a unique individual. Now again, I'm not here to say that having certain things done a certain way so it can get done shouldn't matter because it does. But there's also another way, another way to get the job done, another way to earn it, another way to believe in it, another way to push through it. And not just sit around and make everything convenient. This is the time to realize, ladies and gentlemen, that you got to do better. To get better, you got to do better. And you got to stop making everything convenient. I don't want to go this way, stop it. I don't feel like getting up, stop thinking that way. I don't want to work that hard, why shouldn't you work? I'd rather work smart than hard, stop the nonsense. You can still be a smart individual, but you still got to work for it. You still got to work hard. There's nothing wrong with a little sweat with it. So earn your keep. Stop making everything easy. Stop making everything convenient. Be unique. Be different. Make things a little bit more challenging. And build yourself up. Because there's so much more and so much uniqueness within you. Be passionate every day of your life. And don't look for the easy way. Don't work and put yourself in a position where you feel that everything has to be handed to you. Enough is enough. Make the reality a reality about you. Make it work for you. Believe in it, work on it, stand on it, fight for it. 
and get it done. So on this day, I need you to focus on making everything a little bit more challenging and not so convenient. Make every opportunity count for the best of you and not the worst of you. Be strong every day of your life. Keep looking up and stop looking down. Keep it moving and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. So failure decided to show up and pay you a visit. But now you feel that it is over for you. You feel that there is no coming back from this failure. You must understand that failure is required and you must be willing to be humble enough to not just learn from it, but grow from it. Failure serves its purpose and it will do exactly what is necessary to get you to understand that not only are you learning from it, but you are also a human being. There can be no victory without a struggle attached to it. You don't deserve a victory without a failure. Failure does exactly what is necessary to make you better, to put you on the path at the right moment, to be able to build something from the ground up. And just because you fail, it doesn't mean that it's over. With every step that you are taking moving forward, sometimes you will get pushed back. But when you get pushed back, you come back strong. You come back with a purpose. Champions cannot be champions without failures. Even when you feel that you're at the weakest point, you got to understand that these failures are gonna do exactly what is necessary to help you to build up, to teach you the lessons in life, to understand that you gotta get knocked down a few times. And when that opportunity comes for you to rise up, rise up with a full heart, rise up understanding that it is not over for you and that you're just learning something about yourself. You're learning something about your journey. You're understanding that no matter what, failure is required. When these failures come, don't let it confuse you. Don't let it misuse you. Don't just accept it, but understand it. Understand that you got more work to do within yourself and be strong enough and willing enough to do what is necessary to keep pushing. Sometimes people just want to give up because they fail at something. What good is a victory? What good is a win if you don't fail? This is what life is all about. How can you build if you don't have nothing to build on? How can you grow if you're not understanding that you got to be on the ground so that you can understand what it means to get up? Do you think it's gonna keep you down? Do you think that's all you have left? Do you believe that failure is the only reason that you're on the ground right now? Failure is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Now what are you gonna do about yourself? What are you gonna do to rise up above the occasion? What are you gonna do to find the source and the reason and the purpose within yourself to get what is necessary for you to go further than you've ever gone in your life? Don't let failure put you in a position where you feel that you are not worthy of something. You are always worthy of greatness. Greatness belongs to you. But it is not something that comes overnight. Sometimes you're gonna have to get knocked down. And getting knocked down does not mean that you stay down. Getting knocked down doesn't mean that you're not breathing. 
Getting knocked down doesn't mean that it's over. Getting knocked down doesn't mean that you just stay on your back because that ground is hard and it's cold. Now you got to understand, if you're gonna stay down, you better learn how to get up. What do you do? You want failure to tell you what to do? You want failure to make you feel that you don't have anything left to give of yourself. Failure will not apologize. It is designed to teach you a lesson. It is designed to make you better. Welcome to failures. Yes, there are many people in the world who refuse to fail. Every living human being must fail. You must humble yourself. You must be willing to understand that with a failure, sooner or later a victory will be waiting for you. But there's always a greater force out there that's maybe a little bit tougher and a little bit stronger than you. And when it comes, you just got to work a little bit harder so that you can overcome it. That may be a relationship that you're facing right now. The workplace may be a little challenging for you right now. Just raising your children may be a little challenging for you. But that doesn't mean that it's over. There's always going to be work to be done. You're learning. And when you're learning, you are growing. You are growing to be something unique. You are growing to serve a purpose. Do not let failure confuse your opportunities. Let failure serve its purpose. Nothing happens overnight. It is a process. And the time will come where you will reflect on the many failures that you have embarked on. And for that, you will become greater than you was yesterday. So keep up the good fight. Keep pushing forward and learn from the failures and move forward with a purpose. For purpose is within you and only failure is there to teach you.